could go longer because you guys are still here having fun. Yeah. You could go for like another three hours if you guys want to. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, not, that's a terrible idea. You guys are not even talking about it. Next topic up, give it up for James History, baby. Whoa, thanks for hanging out, you guys. Give it up for yourselves. I'm a, I'm a big fan of cannabis. You guys like that? Cannabis? I think about funny things when I do cannabis. One of them is like, uh, you guys ever heard of Wawa? You heard of Wawa? Yeah. yeah. You think that uh, people that have stuttering problems like to get their gas at Wawa? Right? So that way they don't have to tell their friends that they get their gas at Shish... Sh shell? Right? Other things I think about. You ever heard that one phrase, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck could chuck wood? You heard of that before? Yes. Yeah. That's a silly question. I don't have time to count wood all day, first of all. But second of all, uh, what if other animals had this problem, you guys? Like, what about the platypus? We don't say, hey, how much puss could a platypus puss? <laughs> if a platypus could put pusses. <laughs> Wait, you do that? Me neither. Yeah, it's silly. <laughs> but what about the shih tzu, the cute little puppy dog? We don't say, hey, cute little puppy. How much shit could a shih tzu shit? <laughs> if a shih tzu could shih tzus. <laughs> I don't know that. Right? What about the sperm whale? You want me to do that one? Yeah. <laughs> How much sperm could a sperm whale sperm, you guys? If a sperm whale could sperm sperm. <laughs> That's a lot of sperm. That big fucking whale story. We could fill this whole room up with sperm. <laughs> You want me to do the peacock? It's too fucking bad. Here it comes. <laughs> How much pee can the peacock cock? The peacock. Peacocks. We don't do that. It's, uh, I'm super positive, you guys. Uh, you guys like to stay positive? Yeah. Never have it, right? Stay positive. Don't be negative. Don't ever whine. Don't ever bitch. Uh, do you even know the difference, though, between whining and bitching? Don't tell us. Nobody ever offers me any cheese with my bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I take her everywhere I go just in case, you know, because I don't fucking love cheese. And that's my bitch. I could be there with my bitch and Shane over here. Good job, by the way, Shane. He could be like, hey, James, you want some cheese? I see you got your bitch. Like, Hell yeah, that's my bitch. I love some cheese. I'll take it to Spitfire and share it with everybody. Ooh. Yes. She's a Pomeranian Chihuahua, by the way. <laughs> it's not a derogatory joke. No. It's about dogs. Right? It's about dogs. You guys, I'll tell you something very personal, but it's kind of funny. When I was a little boy, and uh, I had a babysitter, uh, he used to come over, and when my parents left, he would mess with me and molest me. Uh, That's not the funny part. <laughs> Why would you laugh at that? Yeah, I probably got bad. <laughs> I probably should have or I just could have called DCF, you know, but luckily for him, I was DTF. Oh. It stands for down to fuck. <laughs> In case you didn't know. In case you didn't know. Yes. Oh, I found out what my heritage was. I contacted 23andMe. Those are the guys that analyze your DNA, you know? They sent me an envelope in the mail. I opened it up, and there's instructions, a plastic bag, and a swab. And I took the swab. Like it said, it said, James, swab your mouth, put it in the plastic bag, put it back in the envelope, send it back to 23andMe. And so I did such things, of course. And a week later, I, I got the results back. And I was super excited, probably like you right now. You're all like, I wonder what he is, right? So I opened it up. I said, James, we think that you're a cute little Polynesian boy. Well, I probably should have rinsed out my mouth first, you guys. Because oh. <laughs> now we got to wait a whole other week. I'll finish with this. I'm from the streets, obviously, right? You can tell. I am. I'm from the streets. Yes. Uh, my uh, technically, I was born on a playground down the streets. I was born on a playground. Uh, I was a seesaw section baby. My parents were probably swingers. 
But it leads up to this. My balls are from the streets, too. These ones right here, you see them? They're from the streets. You're probably wondering what streets this jerk's balls are from, right? Well, it's actually called a sack. <laughs> I've been James Esterlin. This is my time. Give it up for your host again. Thank you again, Spitfire. Fuck yeah! All right, guys. I know I said we were done, but I got a special treat for you guys. All right. We got a